Hey, what's happening, YouTubers? This is Blasphemy once again. Um, today, my mission is to help you install ADB and Fastboot on Windows 8. I uh, spent some time earlier trolling the web, looking for uh, compatible drivers to get this thing installed. And I managed to find something that helped me out pretty much. Um, so before you start anything, you need to have Java installed. Select Windows Online, download Java, and install it. <coughs> Once you have Java installed, then you need to go over to Android SDK and Android Development and download the package needed to install your Android SDK. Um, I suggest you download the zip file instead of the uh, executable. <clears throat> Even though it's recommended with the zip file, you have a little more control over your installation process. So that's my suggestion. Um, once you download that file, then <coughs> you need to extract it. Extract it directly to your C drive. So you leave it blank after the switch. Um, once you've done that, you hit extract. Me, I already have the file, the folder extracted, so I just wanted you to see the process and any graphics. Okay, X that out. So, once you've done that, once the extraction is complete, then you need to go to your C drive. And, uh, rename it to something short that you can remember and that you can easily type into your command line. Uh... Me, I always name mine's Android SDK for simplicity. We'll hit no, and I'll delete that folder. I don't need it. Okay, once you have that installed, I mean, I mean, once you have that folder extracted, then. You need to open your command prompt. So I suggest um, that you go into your search options. And you add run to your taskbar. And also command prompt. Add that to your taskbar too, because you're going to be needing those tools. So once you have that, then you go into your command prompt. You need to change directories to wherever you name your Android SDK. Android SDK tools folder and then type Android and that will open up the SDK manager um, to make this 
just a quick process. I suggest you only install these two packages here and also in the extra section the Google USB driver. <coughs> and it shouldn't take that long. It should be a quick process because those are the only packages you're installing. Um, you can come back later and install the rest of the packages. But the main goal here is just to get your ADB and Fastboot set up. Okay, so once you've done that, then you need to go back to your Android SDK directory, uh, platform tools directory, and you need to copy three, these three files and Fastboot and add them to your tools directory. And the reason why I say that is because if you plan on developing, especially with Eclipse, Eclipse look for, looks for Android ADB, looks for ADB inside the tools folder. So for development purposes, you need a copy of those four files inside your tools directory. The ADB file, the ADB Win API DLL file, the ADB Win USB API DLL file, and also Fastboot. Also Fastboot. So once you've done that, then just try ADB command. Um, you should just get uh, devices attach devices but it won't list your device because you do not have the drivers installed yet so that's the next step and I will provide the link for you in the description where you can get a copy of the drivers needed to get this thing up and running also if you're running a 64-bit system then you when you're installing this driver, it's un is digitally unsigned, so you might be prompted to uh, disable signature verification. Um, I'm running 32-bit, so I I only was prompted to um, I only received the notification that the driver was unsigned, and I just chose to install anyway. So once you have that installed. Okay, um, just so you can see where you're at, uh, I suggest you open the run application. You type in this command, compmgmt.msc, and that will take you to your computer management console. Device manager. And before you've installed the driver, you should have, uh, it should just say Android phone with the little yellow symbol notifying you you don't have the driver installed. So you would need to double click on that. Go to driver, update driver, browse your computer for drivers. Um, I suggest that you extract the driver's folder directly to your C drive so it will be easy to find. And then you find that path where you extract it. C drive. Drivers. And no need to go into the subfolders. You just leave it highlighted on the driver's folder. And you hit OK and hit next. I already have the drivers installed so I'm prompted that uh, I already have the best drivers for my device installed. So once you've done that you're pretty much all set. Uh, close everything out. Test your setup. Once again you, uh, you have to navigate to that path and 
Android. SDK tools. ADB devices. And you should get a list of devices attached. And then try fast boot command. And it should just automatically go to the next line because you actually have to be in fast boot mode to uh, communicate with the device. But it is notifying you that fast boot is set up and ready to go. Um, little extra feature here in the SDK setup. Again, go to your search. And you want to go to control panel. It's a lot of stuff. Uh, can't see the find control panel. Okay. Go to control panel. Go to system and security. Go to system. Go to advanced system settings. Next, you need to uh, go back to where you have your SDK installed on your local C. Go into the platforms tools folder. And what we're doing here is we're adding this folder to your system path. Uh, you go into environment variables, system variables, and you look for path. Double click so you can edit. Directional button, right directional button will take you to the end of that path. And you hit this drop box, drop menu. And then you copy that path. And you go back to system variables, uh, semicolon, and then you paste. And that's the path for your platform tools folder. Um, I already have it in my path, so I'll just delete that. directory once again hit the drop menu twice copy that path same process right directional button will take you to the end of the path semicolon and paste I mean, Again, I'll delete that. Loyal. I already have it. All tools. I already have it. So I'll cancel that out. Once you have that set up, you go back to your command prompt. Exit that out. Start another session. And you should be able to just type ADB devices right from the command line, and you'll get your device. I um, hope this video has been helpful. Once again, I'll provide a, a link in the description for the drivers needed to finish the process. I um, hope this video has been helpful. Catch you again, folks. Peace.